Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur was established in 1959 with the vision of imparting higher technical education to students and boosting the research environment in the country. Today, it is home to a number of departments and interdisciplinary academic programs in engineering, sciences, mathematics and statistics, humanities and social sciences. management and design state of the art research laboratories a well stocked library and above all a home to some of the best minds in the world over 50 years this institute has produced somewhere between 25 to 30000 alumni who are uh, absolute leaders in various parts of the globe and in very many institutions and industry both in india and abroad So compared to where we began in the last 50 years or so where do we stand today we are about 300 or 350 faculty members about 6000 students about 500 staff members we have an infrastructure which by all means is certainly uh, excellent and of the world class but we have a denominator problem we do have excellent devices instruments and laboratories but number of people using them are far too many so for imparting quality education and pursuing quality research we still have to do augmentation of our infrastructure iit kanpur offers a healthy learning environment and encourages freedom of thought and spirit of inquiry amongst students faculty and students work together and successfully converge their innovative ideas into meaningful research the research for me means setting up a challenging problem for myself to solve and then looking at that problem trying to understand the real meaning of the problem looking at it from a different perspective because i believe that if one understands the problem completely then the solution of the problem it will not be too far so one must be able to spend a sufficient amount of time trying to understand the problem and one should also not be afraid of failure because most of the attempts to solve the problem will result in failure it could even be that all the attempts to solve the problem result in failure but one cannot be afraid of that so one has to have an ability to accept failure and then still continue to try to solve the problem an academic institution in a society has got uh, three dimensional existence the first dimension is the dissemination of knowledge which is teaching the second dimension is the creation of knowledge which is research and the third dimension is the conversion of that knowledge into societal wealth but unless the knowledge is converted to wealth the knowledge remains a dormant entity besides being the number one institution in the country which is primarily based on teaching the research space requires a complete research ecosystem and that ecosystem requires infrastructure human resource sufficient funding management of research as well as certain policies to achieve certain targets besides basic research which is primarily pursued at the universities as a technological university we also have applied research in the areas of environment energy materials computing communications and other areas which are the frontier areas as well as of the societal needs for that matter where do you go from here uh for various reasons uh iit kanpur hasn't 
has uh, remained with a certain number of faculty members for the last several years. We now have to come out of the mold of being a primarily a UG undergraduate teaching institution into a postgraduate and research institution. So we plan to hire about 100 new faculty in the next one year. We anticipate the total student strength, particularly at the PG and uh, research scholar level, should go up and 6,000 could very well uh, increase to about 8,000 in the next few years. Uh, infrastructure requires a very major uh, augmentation, which is uh, not only just building classrooms or hostels, but research laboratories, uh, incubation center for translational research, and uh, also supporting infrastructure. Interdisciplinarity and partnerships are essential to meet the complex research challenges of the modern era. To promote interdisciplinarity, the Institute has established research centers in the fields of display technology, environmental science and engineering, laser technology, material science, nanoscience, nanotechnology, and robotics. These centers provide an academic platform, leadership, knowledge base, and enabling technologies in the fast-changing world based on fundamental research, innovations, and global interaction with academia and industry. The various interdisciplinary centers established in the Institute have widened the areas and scope of research. But the most important thing is, uh, research-wise, we do pursue fundamental sciences, we do pursue applied research, and beyond, now we are seriously uh, thinking of pursuing translational research, where the product will be a viable technology or uh, actually a working model. So we are trying to map our strength, and we are trying to find synergy among our own faculty members and even, re even uh, make it more stronger by way of collaboration with institutions outside at Kanpur and in particular industries. So we want industries to be our partners right from the beginning and this is how we want to identify and pursue a major, uh, several major or so-called mega projects which actually will be an end-to-end -end solution and will make the country proud. To foster collaboration, IIT Kanpur has established partnerships with international corporations such as Boeing, Chevron, Pratt & Whitney, Procter & Gamble, Honda. Similarly, we have established academic collaborations with international institutions like Yale and Caltech to name a few. In addition to this, we also have national partnerships with leading research labs in the country such as BARC, CSIR, DRDO, ISRO, and IGCAR. The Institute has taken initiatives in enhancing the research capacity and providing the latest facilities and resources for research and development activities in different fields of science and technology. Today, IIT Kanpur is considered a benchmark for world-class research infrastructure. We have good infrastructure, but that kind of infrastructure exists in many different places around the world. So it is very, very important that our research may be driven more by novel ideas. This is an area where we can truly compete. New ideas uh, combined with the infrastructure which is constantly evolving at IIT Kanpur can truly make us the world leaders in certain areas of research. In particular, doing cutting edge research which is comparable to the best in the world.
there is an increased expectation from our funding agencies that our research problems should be inspired by real life problems that the society is facing at large. I'm happy to say that IIT Kanpur faculty has responded very well to this and several technologies developed in the institute are ready for immediate implementation, such as the SCOSTA operating system for the smart card which has been developed for the Indian Navy, the digital mandi for the Indian Kisan which has been developed in collaboration with the Ministry of Agriculture and Ministry of Communications, real-time information system Simran and electronic fuel injection for locomotives which have been developed for the Indian Railways, an eco-friendly zero discharge toilet system and a power supply for rural applications. The third part of research is that from laboratory to market. And this transformation of technology transfer is also very important, which I call it as the third dimension of research. So there are two, two ways in which we try to see that this research is finally sees the light of the day and it gets commercialized. One part is when the faculty produces this research, the research is um, patented. Patented research is then showcased to various industries for uh, commercialization and many of these industries, if they feel that this is very useful, they take it up and then they use it in their own uh, products and services. So this is one part wherein uh, the, uh, the innovation component which is of IIT Kanpur is uh, taken through the commercialization route to benefit the uh, nation in general. The other part is to enable the students to essentially do this. There is a whole sense of you know technology innovation being inculcated and encouraged through these diverse activities. Once they have these ideas and they come up with a prototype and then there is an alumni mentoring where alumni in those industries would mentor the students and then from there these guys can come up and start off, you know, start off their own venture where a facility has been created where they could actually create their own company. So these are the two components of how the research which is produced by the one of the foremost nation's foremost institutions funded by the government of India having a huge lab infrastructure he is being used, this infrastructure is being used by both the faculty and students to create wealth to the nation. Finally, I would like to say that uh, what is unique about IIT Kanpur is the spirit and that can be summarized just in one single word, which is excellence. We believe in that and we believe in subjecting ourselves to the highest possible standards and achieving that. So, I personally feel the best of IIT Kanpur is yet to come and we are all committed and determined to pursue that in right earnestness. IIT Kanpur has completed 52 glorious years, a journey marked with several milestones and success stories. It continues to explore new frontiers in research and make path-breaking innovations in various disciplines of study.